Welcome to the Kanban Board App in Gato tutorial. In this tutorial series, you will learn about theming, user interface design, loading and saving data, drag and drop and much more in Gato. If you haven't subscribed already, do subscribe it's free and helps the videos reach more people. Don't forget to like too. So let's get started with this video. Firstly let's fix a minor issue with the color label, Currently, the color label will expand to take the most space, let's change that. Disable all the size flags on the color label node. Make a new scene and add a panel container as the root. This will be our card. Drag and drop the custom theme on the slot. Save the scene in the Scenes folder. We need some margin, so add a margin container. In the custom constants, set them to 8 pixels. Let's give the card a minimum size of 250 by 60. Let's change the background color, to do this add a style box flat to the card. And set the color to white. Set the corner radius to 5 pixels. Add a wee box container to the margin container since we want to vertically stack the card elements. To that add a h box container and rename it to labels. Add a label node to the wee box and rename it to title. For now, I will add some labels to the card. This is how it will look. In the prototype you can see, the card has many more elements. Let's work on the green time section, although the implementation will not be done in this tutorial series. So, add a panel container to the Wii box. To that add a margin container for some margin. Rename the panel container to time. Add an H box container since we want to horizontally stack elements. To that add a texture rect and a label. Change the background color by adding a style box flat to the panel container. In the size flags, disable the horizontal fill flag. For the margin container, set the margins to 8, 5, 8, 5. For the texture rect, drag and drop the clock image to the texture slot. Center the icon by setting the stretch mode to keep aspect centered. For the label, set the font color to white. The time component is done.
Let's decrease the vertical spacing between elements. For this we can set the separation of the Wii box container. I will delete the color labels which were for testing purposes. Since they will be dynamically added in the card script. Also, hide the time component. Add a margin container below the title. And add a texture rec to it. Drag and drop the description icon to the texture slot. For the custom margin set the top and bottom to 5 pixels. The image is blurry right now, so I will set it to use pixel mode. In the import tab, click preset and then 2D pixel. Then re-import. The image is now much more clear. Rename the node to DESC. Hide both the description and time components. Let's also add an overlay color. For this add a reference rect and rename it to overlay. We will use this to make the panel take the entire size of the card. For the panel, set the layout to full rect. For the style, use a light color with some alpha. Then attach a script to the card node. This script will start basic, but then we will keep getting more complex as we go on. It has a variable data, which will contain all the data of the card, like title, labels, description, time, etc. Here I have taken only a few properties but you can add more if you want to. Labels is an array, and each label has a name and color value. I have added two test labels here. Now we need functions to set and get this data. The get part is simple, but whenever we set the data, we also want to update the card visuals. So for this add A, on update signal, and we can emit the signal after setting any data. In the ready function, let's connect this signal to a function on update.
Here we first update the title nodes text to data.title. Now we need to dynamically add the color labels. First, let's get a reference to the color label scene. For this, we can use the load method in Gato. Then we run a for loop, for every label in data. Here we instance the color label scene, then change its color to label.color. and then we add it to the labels node. Save the script. In the home scene, add a card to the columns node for testing. The card is expanding, and we don't want that so in the size flags, disable the fill flag. Now it's better. Run the scene, by clicking the play icon on the top right. And select the home scene. Oops, an error in the color label script. This error is because we made the script a tool and have called the update method before it was ready. The fix is very simple. We need to first add an if statement in the init function. This will check if we are in editor mode. Then add a ready function, and here run the onUpdate function, also connect the signal, onUpdate to the function. It works. Now, let's show the description icon, if the card has some description. Oh, length must be a function call not a property. I will not add the code for the time element, since I will not be implementing it. That's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on push notifications if you haven't already so you don't miss a new video. Do like and comment on the video too.